Hi everybody, welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine. Welcome to Ask Mark, where we answer your scuba diving questions. Um, our website's down here. You can always visit there after the show. And remember to leave this video a thumbs up and a subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't already. Thank you very much for that. Um, if you have a scuba diving question or a topic that you would like to discuss, then type that down in the comment section underneath this video and use that Ask Mark hashtag to get it featured in an up and coming video. I do try to do my best to answer any question that's asked on the channel but the ones with the hashtag do get preferential treatment um, but today I'm answering a question from Joseph uh, about rescue GPS so Joseph says I'm thinking to get a rescue GPS and not sure what to choose I am a Garmin user, so was thinking to go for the InReach Mini 2, but I see a lot of people use Nautilus Lifeline. What would be better to have? Pros and cons, thanks. So this is a huge topic and one that I'm not ashamed to say that I'm not an expert in, because uh, there's just so much that goes into it and I don't have a foundational knowledge of GPS and EPIRBs and all that kind of PLB stuff. Um, for scuba diving, Anything that aids you in standing out on the surface if you're lost at sea is definitely worth investing in. And those two tend to be the most, uh, there's kind of three, maybe four that a lot of people talk about, but those two are definitely the, the ones that a lot of people talk about. The Garmin, the InReach 2, connects to Garmin's satellite system and allows you to send messages to, uh, to preset numbers and I think directly to Garmin. And if you push the SOS button, it will send your GPS location to Garmin and then they can arrange search and rescue and they have your like GPS coordinates. This does come at a monthly subscription cost. So you've got to pay for the unit itself and then you have to pay every single month to have these features. I don't think you can do anything with the inReach without paying for a subscription cost and the inReach itself isn't particularly waterproof without a separate case i think it's like splash proof you can take it down to like one meter for half an hour or something i think is the ip7 rating or whatever it is um so it's it's pretty darn good as long as you are going to um sort of keep up with that subscription and the nautilus lifeline is it's a different machine they kind of work in like almost a similar concept but from different angles whereas the the garmin sends a signal up to a garmin satellite and then it sends your your information the nautilus is more of a radio beacon that broadcasts your location and a man overboard um, signal in a uh, in a like line of sight situation so any boats in the immediate area will get a, a signal and basically say oh there's a man overboard signal in this area they claim it can go up to like 34 miles i think off the top of my head but realistically unless it's completely flat water um and you're quite low in the water it's quite rare that you'll get that full 34 um if you hold it like right up you'll probably get five to ten miles maybe um it, it depends on the conditions but it doesn't talk to satellites or whatever, but also it doesn't um, require a subscription. You just, you buy the unit and, and that's it. Instead of uh, the, the Garmin where you have to pay that monthly subscription. And yeah, they're, they're both good. They do similar things just in a slightly different way. Uh, the, the Nautilus has a built in case that's, uh, that's, waterproof tube scuba diving depths i forget the exact number i want to say 100 meters but i could be wrong um and when you need to on the surface you open it up you um you pull a little like case cap off the uh, the antenna like springs up and then you, you push a button and it just broadcasts this location i think on the inside you can set a um uh, if you know or if you dive off one particular boat 
frequently. You can type in its like personal ID number and it will first broadcast just to that boat. So you're not telling every single boat in a 10 or up to 30 mile radius, help, I need help, I man overboard. Um, you're just telling that one particular vessel and then they'll come and find you. Um, I think after a while it will probably then start broadcasting um, a, a wider radius. So the benefits of the Garmin are it's probably more accurate and more specific, but it does require that constant, um, uh, what you call it, subscription service. It's not particularly waterproof, so you have to buy a second case, a scuba diving case, to encapsulate it in. Um, I did see one review and someone said it's, um, it's negatively buoyant, so if you drop it, it's gone. And with the battery as well, because it's, um, it's kind of constantly talking or it's constantly trying to uh, to talk when it's uh, like switched on the batteries don't last quite as long whereas with the um, whereas with the nautilus unless you switch it on and use it th the batteries are good for like five years so it's one of those things that you just have to swap those batteries every five years unless you use it obviously um nautilus yeah, it's less useful as a global thing. The the Garmin is good for like hiking and skiing and, and all that and scuba diving if you have that separate case. Um, so if you're into all of that, it might be worth considering because it's it's a bit more precise. It's got that GPS location when it talks to, um, uh, to Garmin. And yeah, if you press that SOS button, it alerts their system. I forget what it's called, but they can then send search and rescue to come to your pretty much exact coordinates. Uh, whereas Nautilus, you're kind of requiring boats to be in the area to be able to uh, to find you. But if it's that against just a, a, a four foot long DSMB, yeah, either of those will be far better. Um, but yeah, they both have their pros and cons. They both do similar things in a in a different way. Uh, the the Garmin is more multi-sport, whereas the the Nautilus is a bit more scuba specific. Um, but either way, it's it's quite good. It's just whether you have that um, like ongoing subscription cost as well. That's the main drawback for the um, uh, for the Garmin. It's a fantastic system, but you got to pay for it. Yeah, they're both good systems, and we're seeing it more and more of divers having uh, like PLBs, uh, personal locator beacons, um, sort of on them, and they range. You, you can get some like Nautilus Lifeline where you just buy it once and that's it. You get uh, Garmin Inreach. You got McMurdo as well. Some of the EPIRBs and whatnot. You um, you have to like license them and do all sorts of things, so they can get really expensive, um, and then. A lot of them, they're more for boating, so they'll take a splash in the water. They're waterproof to a few meters, but try and take them down scuba diving. No, you've got to buy a separate case to be able to put it in. Then you've got to find where you've got to put this case. Whereas, yeah, Nautilus Lifeline came out, nice compact little thing, just stow it away in a pocket. You can attach it onto a strap and whatnot. Um, Again, doesn't work underwater, but you get to the surface, you can't see your boat, open it up, press the little button, and um, and yeah, that way it's not alerting a, a global alarm system um, that, that everyone like sends the Coast Guard and whatnot. It's boats in the local area that have this radio system, which I think most do nowadays. And uh, and they just get a little thing that just says, hey, there's a man overboard, they're in this direction. And um, and yeah, people come and hopefully collect you. Um, and we're seeing more and more of these popping up, which is nice. And uh, I think a few liverboards as well are requiring each diver to have, not their own, they, they provide them, but on the BCD you clip it off so that the um, uh, the boat skipper can see when someone um, uh, someone surfaces and needs their help. So it, it's becoming more frequent technology. So we're hopefully going to see some more scuba specific ones instead of just um, oh you know what it's made for boating, but you can use it for scuba diving as well. Uh, 
yeah, I, I think we're going to hopefully start to see more scuba specific ones coming shortly. Um, but a good question and a tricky question uh, for, for me in particular because I'm not, I don't have a mind for all of those like techno gadget things and satellites and GPS things. I, I know roughly what they do, but I don't know how they do it or which one is better than the other. Uh, but as far as those two, Similar things, they just work in slightly different ways. One talks to satellites, the other one just talks to radios in the area. Um, one you have to pay, I don't know, 26 bucks a, a month. The other one is completely free going forward. You've got to buy the unit, but after that it's free unless you count the, uh, the batteries as a cost. But any other questions, uh, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Uh, any corrections as well, because yeah, I'm not an expert on, uh, on PLBs. Any corrections, pop them down in the uh, comment section below, please. Um, and any recommendations, because I've not used neither. I've, I've played around with the, um, uh, with the Nautilus Lifeline, uh, but I've never actually used it in anger. Uh, so if anyone has had to use it and they do, um, Oh, they did come and find you uh, then yeah pop it down in the comment section under the, this video any other questions in the uh, the comment section use that ask mark hashtag and uh, yeah remember to head over to our website scubadivermag.com check out all the awesome things we do over there thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving <laughs>